What's up guys, it's Lakeo Vargas here and I'm bringing you guys another video of Judo and Jiu Jitsu. This one is gonna be a seminar in Durham, North Carolina. I had a blast guys. This was a unique opportunity for me because I'm a double black belt in Jiu Jitsu and in Judo. And it took me many years to accomplish this but it's finally done and I am here spreading my knowledge, spreading the love of both of these arts, bringing the community both judo and BJJ together. Big shout out to Brandon and also Brett Milano for setting this up. Brett, if you're watching this, this is uh, truly a blessing to go ahead and um, teach a seminar out here because of you. So guys, let's get into it. We actually went over time. We went over the gripping, the kumikata, the strategies of standing in both jujitsu and judo and capitalizing on the point system, especially for jiu-jitsu. Keep your knees off of the mat, one knee on the belly. Now, I don't want to be like this. I want to have it angled a little bit to his sternum. I'm pulling onto his lapel for more weight, so his head is off of the mat, and I'm controlling putting my hand by his belt, because a lot of flexible guys have to grab on, put his foot onto my chest, and start kicking. So I like to go here, I have my elbow shield here, really not. I had a wide variety of practitioners such as white belts all the way to black belts. So it was a great opportunity for all belts to come and learn. Um, some gripping strategies, some gripping practices that I like to do. Also focusing on some ashiwaza, which is foot techniques or leg attacks as well. Kind of mixing that in with some freestyle judo. And for you guys listening, when I say freestyle judo, I'm implementing judo with leg grabs. And in today's judo, the IGF system doesn't allow any throws or any takedowns from the belt below. The people who came and attended the seminar, they were all very, very great listeners. They were very passionate in learning and accepting new techniques. I was very surprised because I saw both judo and jiu-jitsu practitioners come and they're all open, they're all open to the techniques. I come to find that there's a lot of people in both arts, Jiu Jitsu and Judo, that are honestly kind of mind blocked from any other arts, especially if they wanna learn takedowns. They're very, very, um, most of them, I'm talking about Jiu Jitsu guys, are afraid of doing throws or getting taken down or thrown into the air and taking a fall. And it goes also with judo players and, you know, judo players don't really do too much newaza and I'm not speaking for everyone, but most of the judo community doesn't really focus too much on the newaza part. So, you know, having both judo and jujitsu players come in and learning and being open and bringing it together in their techniques and into their forms. It's, it was really great to see. And I believe that everyone came out with at least one golden nugget and it was an awesome, awesome seminar. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit the subscription button below. It would really help me out. More videos will be coming your way. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Hopefully I could do more seminars and share my love and knowledge for both jujitsu and judo. All right, till next time. See ya.